haven't much chance to have a look at them play. Yeah, I came and watched them um, against Kids Grove, uh, which was approximately what two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, obviously the game being off uh, Boxing Day, and then um, you know Kings Lynn at the weekend. I I know I had the report on that one. I got the video of it. Yeah. Um, so nobody knew I was here against Kids Kids Grove. So I, I was I was getting a good look at um, everything from my perspective and uh, and I like what I saw, you know. And it's uh, like I say, you just the club's going in the right direction. I've not inherited a, a mess, which is what normally happens when a new manager comes in. Um, and I can only thank you know Dave and Chris, obviously, that they kept the fort going. Uh, for so long and with such professionalism as well, so it's uh, you know hats off to them. You know Graham's obviously gone on to to a new club, and you know I've just been lucky really. I've inherited a, a team that's up there, and, uh, and there won't for me there won't be many changes. Um, you know it's just about over the next few weeks just getting getting them motivated to to pick them up from the Kings Lynn defeat and. You know, we got a tough game at the weekend. That's you know, it's no easy place to go to. So, uh, you know, we need to hit the ground running really. Uh, Rob Pasani from Rutland Radio. Hi. Um, you must be delighted really to be coming to a club that is in such good health, that is in yeah. such a good position, and you know has the chances that we've been talking about today. Actually, maybe for promotion or certainly to to finish in the top three you know, yeah. at the end of the season. Yeah, I'd, I'd be, I'd be very disappointed if we didn't. Um, but you know, f anything can happen at a football club. You know, you get the, you know, some players may not, may not want to stay. You, d you know, that's my, that's my job to, to convince them to. Um, and if they do go, we need to replace them, and that's 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 part of parcel of football. But you know, if we if we do lose players, we, we will be getting as good as, if not better, in and. Uh, that's what it's about. It's about the club moving forward. But at the moment, I don't like. I said, I just don't see the point much for change at the moment because the lads have done really well. You know that the manager put them together. But I'm I'm a believer. It's about the players. It's about because they're the ones that get the result. They're the ones that put the body on the line week in week out. Um, and without them, you know, we wouldn't have gone on to another job. So, but he, he has to recruit well, which he did. Um, but you know, it is um, getting the players as a group to work hard for each other week in, week out, um, getting them organised, focused on the job ahead and take one game at a time. That's all we can do. And hopefully, yeah, that, that will that will be fruit, fruitful for us at the end of the season. And then you never know, dear. we got a couple of good games at the end of the season if we are still in the, in the pack against Kings Lynn and Colville. And um, all of a sudden... It could be quite exciting, but you know a lot can happen. There's a lot of football to be played until then. So uh, ask me that again in a few months. David, can I ask? Um, you know, you must be um, delighted that the club's confidence in, in you to actually steer that ship as well. You know, following your your trial effectively. Yeah, I think I'd like to think anyone who was here for the Kids Grow game and was there for the Lynn game could could see that despite what people may believe, the fact that there wasn't any issues with, with Graham going, and I, I completely agree that it's the club doesn't need to make drastic changes player-wise, and if we can improve, brilliant. I think that's, I think that's key. everyone needs to be doing that, looking to improve. But I think all, all I felt my role was to be to offer some stability, and I took it upon just make sure that we're organised, we're disciplined, and, and actually give a little bit of self-belief out to the guys. And I think we, we have, if anything, played a little bit freer, and slightly a little bit like the reins rain, and the shackles have been off, and I, and I felt, I felt I've probably got a bit of respect from the guys in there. I, I give a bit out, so I think I take a little bit back. So I feel, yeah, I feel the club have made a good decision in putting me in this capacity. I, I genuinely believe that, and I think I was certainly hungry enough and, and and enthused enough to make sure I could try and do it properly and, and help hats as much as you can to to make the right decisions for the club. So I think myself. Uh, uh, and way of what we spoke about share the same kind of beliefs and I think we'll complement each other well. So I'm I'm really pleased and I'm excited by um the role and a little bit relieved that I haven't got to take as many calls now for the next few weeks. Will <laughs> you carry on playing? Are you playing um, no, I've got a problem. Are you looking at both of us? Here's a question too. <laughs> 
I'm available for the last 15 minutes where needed. <laughs> I'm available for the last minute. <laughs> Fantastic. No, like he, he, obviously, he, yeah, Dave will, will still have a, a massive part in the the playing side. Um, you know, massive you don't, is, needs little, <laughs> but you don't. I see he's he's earned the respect in the dressing room because that's what it, that's a hard thing to do. And I'm I was probably where where Dave is now four years ago when I went to to Dundalk and to Newports and stuff like that. So I, I'm fully aware how he's feeling and getting. Gaining respect off the lads a little bit is is tough in a, in a football changing room environment. Um, so that shows what person Dave is, and that that is what you want at a football club, and that's the sort of person that I want to be um, associated with, and knowing that that that's the way the club should be moving forward, because you know he, he's been pivotable pivotable over the last few weeks, and uh, he will be as a player and as. Um, as an assistant um, from now until forever, really. Okay. Fantastic. Any more questions or break off for one to ones? Can I just say one thing, Chris? As a, as a former director, as a mm-hmm. start to his both of you, all the very best. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the town needs a good football team. I think, to me, Chris, one of the important things, and you said this to me yourself, is to up its profile even more in the town. When somebody asks, what team you go and watch, don't answer Leicester or Peterborough. Yeah. Have a look at Stanford. I mean, and I really do genuinely wish you both well. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Lovely. Thank you very much for everyone's time. Appreciate the short notice coming together today. So uh, grateful for that. And as I say, if anybody wants to do any one to ones, just uh, let us know.